Virgin Galactic has successfully sent a spacecraft to the edge of space. The high-altitude launch is the first commercial US flight to go beyond the atmosphere since 2011 and a major advance for civilian space travel. More than 600 people have bought tickets, some paying a quarter of a million dollars for the chance of four minutes of weightlessness beyond the reach of gravity. So Richard Branson founded Virgin Galactic in 2004. I'm pleased to say that he joins us now from the test site in California's Mojave Desert. Uh, welcome to you, Richard Branson, and congratulations on today's test flight. Uh, perhaps you can talk us through what happened. Um, well, thank you very much. Obviously, after 14 hard years um, to have uh, taken Virgin Galactic into space is a, a momentous historic occasion. Um, so what happened? This wonderful spaceship that's behind us um, took off uh, early this morning on this beautiful day, uh, attached to White Knight, which is a giant uh, plane that we built to carry her, uh, went up to 40,000 feet. It then was dropped away from uh, White Knight. It fired its rockets and traveled um, from naught to 3,000 miles an hour in eight seconds, uh, piloted by two wonderful astronauts. Um, and soared into space and we could all see it just uh, you know from where we were standing g going up and up and up and up and then obviously disappearing when it went into space um, and then the now astronauts which is quite exciting we were pilots before um, they had this incredible experience of being in space looking at mexico down there canada up there um, and uh, and had the ride of a lifetime and um, and then when they came back out of space, they were traveling at two and a half thousand miles an hour back into the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, and uh, the, the whole spaceship became a giant shuttlecock to slow it up. Uh, it then came back into a spaceship formation and it came back down and landed in front of the thousands of people who were watching. And I don't think one of us had a dr <laughs> had a dry eye. Um, it was just one of the most exhilarating days of our lives. Well, yes, give us a sense of just how big a moment this is for you, especially given some of the setbacks you've had along the way, not least that terrible crash in 2014 and the tragedy of losing a pilot. What did it mean to you today, given that context? Uh, it meant a lot for, for everybody here. There were 800 people, engineers, who, who have worked on, on the spaceship for the last 14 years. Uh, wonderful rocket scientists. Um, there were you know, re relatives of uh, our test pilots, um, and uh, and yep, rocket science space is tough. Um, but to have finally done something that nobody else has ever achieved, which is to actually get a commercial spaceship into space uh, with with people on board. Um, uh, it, yeah, it, it was just a wonderful, wonderful day. And from here, you know, we'll do a few more test flights. We'll, we'll f learn little things from each test flight. Uh, then sometime next year, I'll, g I'll go up into space. Uh, and then if every single box has been ticked, um, we'll then start putting people up into space. And, and we have a lot of people who've said they would love to go to space. And, and we hope that in the years to come, many people watching this program uh, will become astronauts on Virgin Galactic and go to space. Well, yes, uh, and as we were saying, a number of people have bought tickets already. So can you give us a, you gave us a sense you want to go into space next year. When do you think those fee-paying passengers, if you like, are likely to make the first trips? My predictions have, have often been horribly wrong. Um, uh, you know, where this has taken 14 years, I thought it would take seven years. Um, so I'm, I'm wary about making predictions, um, but the moment we know that, the, that every single box is ticked, that we can safely bring people up, um, then we'll start contacting our astronauts in waiting and saying, it's your turn to come and come to New Mexico where we have a beautiful spaceport uh, and you'll bring your family, bring your friends, um, come and have the ride of a lifetime. Um, but, you know, may, maybe, uh, all right, maybe by the end of next year, uh, that should be happening, I think. 